Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In my hands is a linear voltage and current regulator module capable of adjusting the current from 0 to 10 amps and the output voltage from 0 to 50 volts. Linear power supplies offer very clean output, low noise, fast response, and stable operation even with sudden load changes. Compared to SMPS units, linear supplies generate no high-frequency noise and provide better signal quality for audio circuits and measurement equipment. The circuit uses to potentiometers to adjust the output voltage and current. For the load, I am using an ATOM 50 watt power resistor. The voltage meter displays from 0 to 30 volt, and the current meter ranges from 0 to 10 AMP, making it easier for you to observe how the circuit operates. As you can see, the output voltage can be easily adjusted from 0 to 30 volts. With an 8 ohm load, the maximum current reaches about 4 amps. Now I will adjust the output current. When the current limit circuit is activated, the LED indicator will light up. First, I will increase the output voltage to the maximum level. As you can see, the output current can be easily adjusted using the potentiometer. The maximum current depends on the load. At 30 volts with an 8 ohm load, the current reaches about 4 amps. To achieve 10 amps, we would need a load of approximately 3 ohms or less. I will set the current limit to 1 amp. When I disconnect the load, the output voltage will rise back to 30 volts, just as previously set. When I reconnect the load, the current will be limited to 1 amp and will remain stable at that value. I will increase the current limit to 2 amps. Let's see the results together. The current remains stable at 2 amps as set. The circuit is working very well and reliably. Next, here are the specifications of the transformer I am using. This is a very easy to build power supply suitable for everyone. I will provide a detailed guide on how to build it after the introduction of my sponsor and partner, JLCPCB. JLCPCB provides easy, affordable, and reliable PCB and PCBA solutions, empowering electronics engineers to develop projects efficiently. With 19 years of PCB manufacturing expertise since 2006, running five cutting-edge, in-house factories and serving over 5.48 million engineers in 180 countries and regions. Order PCBS from JLCPCB effortlessly. Upload your Gerber file to get instant quote and order in minutes. It's as easy as online shopping. PCB customization, component sourcing, stencil manufacturing, and high precision assembly all in one place. Get 1 to 8 layer PCBS for just $2, efficient large scale production reducing costs and bringing you unbeatable prices. Quality and lead time is reliable. All in house production, ensuring quality stability and strict quality control in every process. Rapid turnaround, lightning fast PCB production in just 24 hours. Don't miss JLCPCB 6 layer PCB special. Get $30 off with a coupon and enjoy top quality 6 layer PCBS for just $5. Plus, to you enig finish and no engineering fees for via and pad. Here is the result one week after I uploaded the Gerber files to JLCPCB.com. The enclosure and PCB were manufactured and delivered by JLCPCB. The details on the PCB are very sharp, the traces are accurately printed, and the soldering quality is excellent, making assembly very easy. The PCB traces are tinned to enhance electrical conductivity and improve soldering quality. You will need some components, such as resistors, relays, bridge diodes, capacitors, and power resistors mounted on the PCB. All of these components are very common. You can download the PCB details and the full component list from the description section of this video.
Here is the circuit after completing the main components. I am using to potentiometers 10k omega and for 0.7k ohms to adjust the voltage and current. The PCB traces are tinned to handle currents up to 10 amps. This is where the power transistors are mounted. I am using for 2SC5200 transistors to handle up to 10 amps of current and an output voltage of up to 50 volts. This is the mounting position for the current buffer transistor and the power transistors. I am using a TIP-137 as the current buffer and for 2SC5200 transistors are connected in parallel to handle high current. The emitter of each transistor is connected to a 0 0.33 ohms 5 watt resistor to ensure current sharing balance among the four transistors. 2LM723ICs will be used to control the voltage and current. The IC741 is used to control the relay that switches the input voltage, reducing power loss when the output voltage is low. Six 0.33 ohms 5 watt resistors are connected in parallel. These act as a shunt resistor to sense the output current and feed it back to the LM7 to 3 IC. The power transistors and the buffer transistor are mounted on a large heat sink and they are electrically insulated from each other for safety. The potentiometers for adjusting voltage and current, along with the LED indicating current limit, are connected to the PCB using long wires for easy placement inside the enclosure. This is the schematic diagram of the circuit, including all components. Thank you for watching my video.